What if the reconstruction of the Oroville Dam was not enough, or too little too late? The things that have been said by many professionals about this uh, ridiculous situation of Oroville, which shockingly threatens the lives and livelihoods of millions of people. So this is a potentially horrific situation that needs to be taken seriously that's controlled in an environment of, of uh, I, I don't know what to call it, but a culture that, that doesn't take it seriously. And what still needs to be done for the dam to be as safe as possible? I'm one of those people who's grouted many, many dams, and that's one of the things that, that I've done a lot of. And that is the issue with this dam, the, the grand issue. There are a number of things that could fail this dam, of course, Overtopping the emergency spillway would only take minutes to take the dam out, even still. And the failure of the, of the gate structure at the top of the primary spillway would, would take the dam out. I don't know to what degree, um, but the underlying issue is the need for an extensive investigatory and then grouting program to address this movement of porting water and phreatic water through this dam and the indigenous soils on the on the sides of the dam, the groin, if you will, uh, that is the issue. They should be drilling and filling, drilling and filling. This dam needs grouted worse than any dam I've ever seen, probably with a, a urethane type of a grout to bind and to fill these areas where Fines have been washed through by this water that seems to be moving through this dam. Would you believe it if a dam expert told you so? Literally, national um, viability. If we lost this and lost all of the crops and all of the business in a good section of Northern California, it would be crippling to the entirety of our nation. This is something we can't allow to happen. What would you say if I told you there is still more work to be done? These magnificent structures, I mean, they're huge. They're in a process of failing, and they're failing because the foundation is failing, which the most probable reasoning for that is because there's water moving beneath it, removing those fines and allowing that that foundation material to um, become displaced.